what's going on everyone Ufin news coming at you with another daily cryptocurrency market analysis today is august the 16th 2017 and man i must say what a day of trading happens in the market so many of these cryptocurrencies have done a complete flip from what the down day was on yesterday a lot of them ended up higher a lot higher than the down day that occurred on yesterday which kind of leaves us in limbo on the, the direction of where the market is going to go. But first, let me tell you guys that we at Hufin News are not investment advisors, nor are we trying to give you guys investment advice. We are just simply giving you guys news according to the charts. And one of the charts that we're going to look at today is going to be Dash. Dash broke the area of resistance today and made a all time high today. And our analysis from August the 14th, 2017, we mentioned that the buyers came in and bought up the stockpile. So, and also from our analysis on August the 15th, 2017, we mentioned that Dash showed us precursors of strength compared to many of the other cryptocurrencies. We said that Dash was not finished with making higher prices and immediately looking at today, the next trading day, Dash makes all time highs. And we're going to go ahead and look at that chart a little bit deeper to see exactly what is our analysis from here on out. And also, I've done an analysis on OMG on the 13th of August. It also made an all time high today as well. And that last analysis that we did on the 13th, we said that OMG was showing precursors of strength. And that it should be trading higher and omg was last trading at on that day that we did our analysis for omg was trading at six dollars and 94 cents and the high for today was i think it was eight dollars and 78 cents we'll go ahead and look at that today that's an increase of up 21 percent that you guys could have made in the, in the market if you guys would have paid attention to our simplistic way of looking at the market and the, the way it is going to go so that being said, let's go ahead and delve into these cryptocurrencies and let's see what we have. So right now, looking at NEO, it has definitely showed us a precursor of weakness today, how the market tried to consume or buy up a lot of the cryptocurrency NEO on yesterday, but it wasn't successful to maintain higher prices. The bar is a lot lower than what the close was on yesterday. So that lets us know that NEO is not giving us any precursors of strength, but rather it's giving us precursors of weakness on today's bar. So we would expect NEO to continue to trade sideways to lower from what the chart is showing us right now. And it looked like if it does continue to trade lower, that it should come all the way down here towards. 0.0097 or all the way down to 0 0.0090 so if you guys are in the market for neo you guys want to pay attention to that but overall the market still looks healthy it looked like it's still trying to make a decision on whether or not it wants to go higher and lower so that's why our analysis is saying that it's going to trade sideways and then eventually lower if we don't see any precursors of strength bars showing up on this particular chart. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and delve into the Bifinex website and let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on with these cryptocurrencies. So the first one we always check out is Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, it was up 5.26%. Last trade was at 4,403. $401.60. So you can see how yesterday was a definite change in character for Bitcoin. The bar was massively wide. The volume was extremely high. But then look at what happened today. For us to consider yesterday's bar to be a precursor of weakness, today's bar would have been a day to where it closed lower than the close of yesterday's bar and that did not occur. Matter of fact, it was the opposite. The bar closed extremely high at the towards on the high. So that lets us know that Bitcoin is still 
showing to have more buyers in the market than sellers. So what we can expect with Bitcoin is for it to continue to trade sideways to eventually higher. But it's all we, we still need to wait to see what happens on this bar that is forming right now. Because if the market does not break above the high of the 15th of August, which was 4430, then we can continue to say that the market will trade sideways to lower because the market wasn't able to get up here towards the high on the trading of today's bar. So currently we will continue to say that Bitcoin will trade sideways. That's all we're going to say right now for Bitcoin. We want to wait and see what occurs on this particular bar that is forming now before we give you guys a direction whether it's going to be up or down. Okay? Because what gives us the hesitancy to give a direction is these two bars here, the one from the 15th and today, the 16th, because usually you will want to see the market close lower once you have this type of formation of a bar, but it didn't occur yesterday. So that lets us know that buyers are still in control somewhat. So until we have a definite precursor of weakness and or strength, then we'll give you guys a direction on where the market is going to go. But overall, my eyes is still on this particular bar that occurred on August the 15th, which is definite precursor weakness. So depending on what today's bar will be, the formation of this current bar, I'll let you guys know where we think Bitcoin is going to go. So let's go ahead and check out Ethereum. So Ethereum gave us a precursor strength because yesterday's bar was a consumption bar since today's bar closed higher and also closed towards the high of the bar, which gives us the indication of strength. But the market, it just came right back into the area of trading from the last six or seven trading days. So that doesn't necessarily mean that Ethereum is ready to break out and make higher highs. So for us, for Ethereum, we will continue to say that it will continue to trade sideways. And depending on what this formation of the bar is, we'll let you guys know the direction on the way the market is going to go. But currently, since we have in the near term, Ethereum might trade higher. But in the long term, there's more precursors of weakness here in the background that it will have to overcome before the price will go higher. So if we could get a push to go up bar to break through all of these bars of trading, then yes, it's time to get in the market and buy Ethereum. But until that point, we will continue to say that it's going to trade sideways to eventually lower. But from the last two trading days, this could be the start of Ethereum making higher highs. But it will have to take a lot of volume, a lot of push to get through all of this stockpile that was entering in on these particular trading days. So currently we'll say Ethereum is going to trade sideways to lower. But if this bar that is forming now is a push to go up, then our analysis changes to precursor strength to Ethereum trading higher. So today's bar, Ethereum was up 5.18%. Last trade was at 312, I'm sorry, 302 dollars and 10 cents. So next we're going to look at OMG. So I want you guys to check it out. Look at it. It is up 30.95%. Last trade was at $8.81. And we did our analysis on the 13th of August, which was this bar here. And here we said that this is where the buyers came into the market. And we expected it to continue to trade sideways. And that's what it did on the 14th and the 15th to eventually higher. And today we got this push to go up bar for OMG, which gives us the indication that the market is strong for OMG. But if you look at the close in this bar, stockpile came in. So we want to make sure that the formation of this particular bar to 
to see if it will close lower or does it OMG has enough push to continue to go higher and make higher highs okay so by so much volume being placed on today's bar it might take a rest on the next couple of trading days before it'll make a move higher or even lower but overall OMG is giving us precursors of strength and we would expect it to continue to move higher to trade sideways so next we're going to look at is Litecoin see a lot of these cryptocurrencies has completely done a flip from what happened on the 15th of August so even on the 15th of August for Litecoin the market on both days on the 15th and the 16th the market came and touched this area of support that we have created on both days and it came up and closed above it so this was an indication just like it was on Bitcoin to where more buyers were in on the 15th and it continued on the 16th but specifically for Litecoin you can tell how stockpile still came in on this particular bar because it wasn't able to close towards the high so that gives us more indication that there's still a lot more stockpile of currency that needs to be bought up before it will continue to go higher so with Litecoin we will continue to say that it's going to trade sideways to eventually lower specifically especially because this bar wasn't exactly as strong as Bitcoin's bar was Bitcoin was a push to go up and the bar almost closed towards the high this one the bar closed towards the middle so that lets us know there's a lot more sellers in Litecoin than there are in Bitcoin so we'll continue to stick with this analysis that it will trade sideways to eventually lower and it might even come back down and test this $42 area again but we'll see so with Litecoin they are up 1.77 percent last trade was at $43.87 So next we're gonna look at Bitcoin Cash. It's still hovering around that $300 mark. So we'll go ahead and look at the three hour chart and it's still trading sideways. Bitcoin Cash has been trading sideways for like the last three or four trading days. And it seems as if even looking at the three hour bars that precursor strength came in on these particular bars, but then you have a weakness here and the market is still continuing to trade sideways. So the market participants have not decided yet on which direction they want to take Bitcoin Cash. It's not participating in the up moves that Bitcoin has, that Dash have today, that OMG had today. It's not participating at all in any of the upward movement. So you ask yourself the question, what's going on with Bitcoin Cash? Is it weak? It might be. Or are there just within this particular range consuming as many cryptocurrencies as they possibly can before they make a move higher so we will continue to stick with our analysis what it was before Bitcoin cash to continue to trade sideways to eventually higher we just need to wait for that moment or that pop to where it will finally break through and we just don't have that right now so we'll our main near-term trade will be for it to con to trade sideways but long term we're looking for it to break up and move higher so Bitcoin cash is up 0.17% last trade was at $299.01 so next we're going to go ahead and look at Ethereum Classic so I don't want you guys to think that it should come as any surprise that the market had an exceptionally high update for some of these cryptocurrencies because it was due I mean because we mentioned on our video yesterday that classic has so many down days that it was due for an update and that's exactly what occurred the market touched the support as well as the resistance for Ethereum classic and even on today's bar stockpile still came in the market but will we have enough push to break through this area of resistance again? We'll have to wait and see. But we will say in the near term that Classic should trade higher than what it was over the last two trading days. It should continue to trade higher to sideways. 
because the market had nowhere else to go. It's been this is his third time touching this area of support. And if it wasn't going to break the area of support, then the market could have came all the way down to ten dollars, almost eleven dollars, because that's the next place likely to be hold or to be held as support. And I don't think the market was geared or prepared for that. But we still want to be cautious because in the background of this particular chart, we have more precursors of weakness than we do precursors of strength. So we will continue to say that in the near term, Ethereum Classic might trade sideways to higher. But in the long term, it looks more weak than it does strong. So long term, we're looking for Classic to trade sideways to lower just a little bit more, a couple more trading days. And then it might shoot up and break back up towards $16. So with them in particular, they were up 5.07%, 68 cents, or last trade was at $14.13. So next one, we're going to look at the Bellwether, the Bell Winner Dash. Last trade was at $229.14. 12 point two five percent is how much they are up today and what a phenomenal move look at this particular bar it's exceptionally wide up push to go up the volume is back in it dash is strong we mentioned in our last videos as i stated earlier in this analysis video how dash wasn't following the market on that particular day where bitcoin went down to thirty eight hundred dollars dash did not do that it stayed strong so that kind of gave us the clue that dash is going to try to get right back up to this area of resistance and i told you guys that it's going to take a push through this area of resistance to let us know that dash is ready to go up and stay up so with dash we got that confirmation today so with our analysis with dash is that it's going to continue to trade sideways to eventually higher in the long term but in the near term, you might get a couple of resting days to where the market will trade sideways. It might even come back down and test their support. Just want to be leery. On pullbacks like this, if it comes back here to this area support and you see more precursors of strength once it hits this support, then you want to come back in and start buying Dash at that level. Because then you'll know for sure that it's going to go higher than what this area support is now. So Dash is the winner for today. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and look at Ripple. This is the daily. So even with Ripple, we knew the market came into this area support and the volume is exceedingly high compared to the last couple of trading days. Let's us know that we have many of the participants within Ripple who is buying up as many of these cryptocurrencies as possible. So that kind of gives us more precursors of strength let us know that ripple should be geared towards the upside real soon so we're looking for them to continue to trade sideways to eventually higher because they don't have too far to go to come back down to this area support and i'm thinking that they're in here with all this excessive volume buying up as many of this cryptocurrency as possible before they resume back higher prices so you guys need to be ready and prepared for ripple to shoot back higher to the upside because once they are concluded with their buying or consuming of this cryptocurrency, then it will go back higher. Even today, we are still saying that they're in the market consuming this particular cryptocurrency. So with that being said, Ripple will continue to trade sideways and then long term, it should eventually move higher. So Ripple is up 1.87% last trade was around 16 cents and then we're going to look at the last one the one cryptocurrency monero who did not participate in the higher prices they are down 0.26 percent 48 dollars and 51 cent was the last trade and as you can see on this particular bar the spread is a lot smaller than some of the other ones and the market closed a lot lower. Well, it didn't close a lot lower. It closed a little lower than the close from yesterday's bar. So that lets us know that Monero should continue to trade sideways 
to eventually lower because the market is not having that many buyers in order to push the price higher it has more sellers than buyers today's bar kind of lets us know that there's a lack of interest to higher prices so that's why we'll say that today's bar is a precursor weakness and so Monero, we expect them to continue to trade sideways to moving lower so that's all i got for today guys you know i appreciate you guys tuning in to these videos we want to show you guys how simplistic it is to be a trader in the market to read where the market is going to go we're hoping that you guys will continue to tune into these videos and become more confident in your own trading aspects as to understand why the market is doing what it's doing so we ask that you guys continue to watch make sure you guys continue to uh, subscribe like share these videos if you guys got any comments please leave them in the comment section of this video and that's all i got guys you guys have a wonderful day and here Houston news give you guys news according to the charts you guys have a good one